What's going on everybody? I bet you're wondering why you're here or what this is and I'm here to explain that to you. This is American Horror Story Season 11 discussion, predictions, and overall just what you think of the show. And I'm going to share some of my personal predictions as well. My name's Trent and let's go ahead and jump on into this. So again, as I stated, this is American Horror Story Season 11, and we are going to start off at Episode 3 here. Episode 1 and 2 have aired already, as well as 3 and 4, but we're going to start our predictions and discussions at Episode 3. So just make sure you've watched Episode 1 and 2 before viewing this. Alright, so let's start off at the beginning of Episode 3. I want to start off with my possible killers here. I'm going to start off with... Theo Graves' boyfriend, Sam, uh, he's already locked some people in cages, so he's got some killer potentials. Uh, the Glasses Marine guy, a.k.a. Whiteley, uh, he is a Marine, I believe, and uh, the one that has kidnapped Gino Borelli in the first episode or two. And uh, if you remember, he uh, sees his Marine tattoo and says he cannot serve twice. And he re basically refuses to kill a Marine. That is until we get further on into these episodes. Uh, another one is Big Daddy. Obviously he could be with Sam or he could be a separate entity. Or he could even be with uh, Theo Graves. So that's a little thing right there that we need to find out about Big Daddy. And then I'm going on a limb here and saying Cop. The Cop, uh, Gino Borelli's boyfriend, Patrick, is a possible killer here. And then here we go. Uh, it starts off. Uh, the lady tells you about Operation Paperclip. And let me just back up right here. I'm not going to use everyone's name as there is a lot of names to remember. And if you uh, watch the episode, you'll know who I'm talking about. So it starts off with Operation Paperclip. Uh, talking about Nazi scientists during the Red Scare in the 50s. So I believe this is setting, setting up whatever the disease is for the show. Uh, I have a friend watching with me that thinks it could be AIDS. Uh, but I think they're going to do something different with the disease. There's definitely a disease brewing. If you remember in episode one, it starts off with all of those deers that had the disease. So moving on, the guy in the cage, his name's Daniel. He gets set free. And the strong masked man at the door just lets him go. Now this is not Big Daddy as this was a white man, I believe. It's not Big Daddy though. I wrote that in my notes. Uh, all righty, and then the cop kicks in the door of the man who had the guy in the cage that we know his name is Sam. They they walk in, they not, actually they knock for a couple minutes, and he, they're in there partying. Nobody answers, so he's in there doing coke. I wrote, <laughs> which I think is funny. This uh, American Horror Story, New York City, season eleven happens in 1981, the early 80s. So definitely a different time than now. Than now, if you walked in and saw someone doing coke, or if a cop walked in, especially, they're gonna say something. Anyways, uh, what I thought was interesting is Sam tells the uh, cop that he knows what he's into. Now this could hint that uh, he knows the cop's gay, or he could know that the cop has a dark side. That's one of my predictions there, so we'll just have to keep watching and see. Uh, and then also another note I took is once they got home and uh, he was t Patrick was telling Gino about this incident with Sam, is that he defended him and said that Sam was not the killer, and he was very adamant about this even though he could possibly be, and it makes me believe Sam might actually know something about Patrick at Dark Side. Bum, bum, bum. Alrighty. So then we see that something evil is coming for you again to the guy, the artist guy in the subway. Something evil is coming, she says. Something very evil. And you see her in the first or second episode as well. So that's going to play a part too. That makes me believe maybe there's something possibly spiritual or demonic or something like that. 
And then another another note, uh, does Theo Grave know his boyfriend is evil? And does he know the actual truth about Big Daddy? And this will throw you for a curve because when Theo walks into this secret club, uh, it shows Big Daddy in the background. And who knows if he knew he was there or not. The music made it sound like he did not know he was back there. Uh, and then it shows Patrick, the cop, dressing up and going to a leather bar. So now it's kind of showing his dark sides. And then Big Daddy throws a Molotov cocktail into the secret club uh, and tries to kill a lot of people in there. Or could he be trying to mask the fact that Theo is actually with Big Daddy? That's another thing we'll have to figure out. Then Adam freaks out in the hospital, which is another main character that you will get to know or should know. The guard that's burnt is getting wheeled into the hospital and says, uh, they're coming for all of us. So maybe she saw something different. Hmm. And then Gino spots Whiteley in the hospital, chases him, and ends up getting drugged by Whiteley and put into the morgue locker to freeze so even though Whiteley is a marine and will not shed the blood of another marine he says this is different you'll just freeze and it'll be peaceful don't think it's gonna be peaceful and that is episode three a sum up of my predictions and just a summary of what I thought about it I want to know what you think about my predictions of episode three in the comment let me know if you have any predictions of your own and now we move to episode four the other cop, Patrick, sees Whiteley leaving the hospital, can't catch him, ends up saving Gino in the morgue. How he actually finds him down there in a huge hospital, I'll never know, but he does. And then Gino wakes up with the rash that everyone keeps getting, which I think that's going to tie into whatever virus this is. And then Gino shows up to the bathhouse and tries to get an interview from her. At first she refuses, he freaks out to get the interview. I don't think there's anything really significant with this. I just wrote that down in my notes. And then the artist singing in the first two episodes, Hans, which we saw in the subway where the, white, where the lady was saying, uh, something evil is coming, something very evil is coming. That was Hans. He's now dead in the fourth episode. And also the guy who was locked up in the cage, I forget his name, I mentioned it a little earlier, was with him. The cops have him arrested, but Patrick says, let him go. So could Patrick be on it, in on any of this and know that he is innocent, or is he just being a nice guy? Theo finally brings up Sam being dark, and then uh, Sam chokes Theo after he mentions leaving him. So he shows his dark side on Theo. He tells Theo to call 911, which he does, but then hangs up. Possibly because he knows Sam is dark and powerful. It has not really showed us how powerful he is, but he could be very powerful. And then Theo leaves Sam on Adam's porch. And uh, Theo meets Sam on Adam's porch. And they uh, come inside and make up, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And then Whiteley calls Patrick on his detective work phone and says that he is, cannot wait to kill tonight and be free because all of the lights and power are off in New York City as they are experiencing a power surge. Sam picks up Adam and tries to pay him off, but that doesn't work. So Sam keeps showing his dark side here. So Sam is obviously going to be a dark man. And then Patrick comes into the park in a big... Big Mask Man, maybe Big Daddy, maybe not, but a Big Mask Man attempts to kill Patrick. So, uh, maybe they're not together, but I still think Patrick is evil. The, the Mask guys and Sam, I don't know, are really connected to Patrick, but I still have a hint that Patrick could be evil. Then Gino asks about the leather mask. They argue about Patrick always hiding things, and it makes Gino fall out into a heart attack. And this argument is pretty important because it says he only tells the truth whenever he's about to get caught. So he is in an interview or him and his boss are talking 
And it could be that he is hinting that Patrick may know more than he's saying. So then he comes out as gay to make it seem like he's hiding that rather than hiding any murderous activities. So then Gino's in the hospital and the doctor says that he has something related to cat scratch fever. So this is another hint to the disease that could be in American Horror Story season 11. And this could be before AIDS, I don't know, but my friend that is watching with me believes that this is the introduction to AIDS. I believe it may be something else, but it's some sort of disease for sure. And then the last note that I have would be Whiteley lets Daniel in the elevator because they saw him in the woods. Remember, he promised Patrick he would kill someone. And Daniel, which is the caged guy, is with a friend and they see him bagging up a body or a head it's kind of unclear because it happens quickly and anyways they follow him because they want to know where he lives and he ends up opening the elevator for them and letting them in so once Whiteley has Adam and his friend in the elevator you know what happens next the power surges he pulls out his lighter and then it pulls out a knife and I guess he gets killed it ends right there and that's the end of American Horror Story Season 4. So that is my predictions. I believe there is at least four killers, maybe even five. And I apologize if I got any names wrong. There is a lot of names to remember. And we're only on Episode 4. So Episode 5 and 6 air tonight. I look forward to seeing it. And I look forward to seeing your predictions, discussions, and just generally what you think about this series here. Personally, it's not the best one, but I, ha I am impressed. After season 10 kind of let me down, they have came back with a good season 11. So leave your predictions below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And have a spooky one. <laughs>